Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is the Sunday update for August 23rd for Tropical Storm Laura and what I believe will soon to be Hurricane Marco. This is the satellite loop. This is a special satellite loop, a water vapor imagery shows the moisture in the mid levels and upper levels of the atmosphere and this allows us to see where the jet streams are and i'm showing you uh, just how well organized marco is uh, becoming and just how well organized laura is she's been able to maintain herself over the island of hispaniola because she's tracked a little bit further south in the forecast track and i think that's going to continue and if you look over here in the eastern gulf and the eastern central gulf we can see Marco's really getting his act together, and I believe an uh, upgrade to hurricane status is imminent, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. But I want to show you over here, if you look at Laura, the outflow pattern, you can see how these spiral uh, cirrus pattern clouds are just emanating outwards from the center, and that is indicative of an extremely positive uh, outflow environment in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's very conducive for strengthening, especially once this system moves out away from the landmass of Hispaniola and gets away from the influences of Cuba. So let's take a look at Hervac. Uh, first thing I want to do is take a look at the uh, track for Marco. As you can see, there's not been a lot of changes. Still looking for landfall along the Louisiana coastline. If we go back in our advisory track here, we can see there's not really been a big shift over the last several advisories. Uh, still looking uh, just right around the Louisiana Delta. So going forward in time here from the track from this morning and then looking at uh, what the track is at the 10 a.m. advisory, you can see he's still calling for landfall and they're pretty close to the same spot. Um, and we have hurricane warnings that are in effect along the southeast coast of the United States. Uh, I'm sorry, southeast coast of, of Louisiana and storm surge warnings. Now, um, looks like Marco will come in right around the strength of a category one hurricane or a strong tropical storm. It's going to depend on how well the inner core stays together as it starts to encounter some shear along the northern Gulf of Mexico. Um, and it's going to be moving to the northwest at about 10 miles an hour. And as we saw those clouds and that shear in the northwest Gulf, uh, that's going to influence it. And it is a smaller storm. So these storms have a tendency to weaken rapidly and they can also strengthen rapidly. So uh, it's just, it's kind of a wait and see with Marco. Now, taking our eyes eastward to Laura, this is where the big change has occurred overnight as the models have really shifted to the east. I'm sorry, to the west. And so I want to look specifically at Laura and show you the big change in the track to the west overnight. And we were talking a little bit about that yesterday, but there has been some really big changes in the, tr in the model tracks. Uh, so if we go back in time, you can see that big shift has happened. And let me just go back a couple of advisories here. And you see how those models have really shifted to the west and how the track has really shifted to the west here. So let me go back to, let's see... Uh, Let's go back to 10 a.m. yesterday morning. And you can see we had a landfall around central Louisiana. But as we go forward in time, my computer's being a little slow here. So as we go forward in time, we uh, see the track is slowly shifting to the west. And then uh, by 4 a.m. this morning, we had a track shift more towards Lake Charles and then by 10 a.m. this morning we have a track shift that is now just west of the Sabine River uh, Louisiana Texas state line and one thing I want to note here is that this track here this track point here that is sometime Thursday morning uh, Thursday afternoon has it inland with a 100 mile an hour wind. So what the Hurricane Center is indicating here is that it will probably come inland in southeast Texas or southwest Louisiana as a major hurricane. So again, 
Uh, we're looking at a really dangerous situation here with Laura, especially since it is tracking south of the track and is probably going to miss the higher mountains of Cuba. And uh, it is really looking really good on satellite. Now, I'm going to switch back to Marco real quick and show you what we're seeing with Marco and the reason why I think it's going to be upgraded to hurricane status pretty soon. This is the recon that's out there right now. And you can see the center is moving around uh, to the north and north-northwest. Pressure is not really low, but what they have found re re real recently here is some winds at the surface at about 68 knots or about 78 miles an hour. And they've had some flight level winds up about 5,000 feet of about 80, 81 miles an hour. So that shows me that it is right on the borderline of being a Cat 1 hurricane. So I would not be surprised to see them upgrade this real soon, maybe at the 1 o'clock advisory. So I do believe we probably have a cat one hurricane in the gulf of mexico right now headed towards louisiana now taking a look at marco we can see our cloud pattern is becoming a lot better organized especially around the center and we have that outflow establishing itself in all of our quadrants it's looking a little bit better organized, and we're going to have a window here of about 18 to 24 hours where the shear should allow it uh, to uh, strengthen a little bit, and then as it gets closer to the coast, it'll pick up again and it should weaken it. So just how quick it'll weaken it, it remains to be seen. Looking at Laura, you can see that it's a very uh, well-organized system. We have outflow in all quads. It's a classic looking tropical cyclone. The lower level is uh, not as well organized as the upper level, and that's just simply because it's been moving over this mountainous uh, island of Hispaniola. It's interacting with these islands, but I believe the mid-level center is very well put together, and then once it gets over the open waters here, it's going to really explode, and I believe we're going to be dealing with a hurricane or a major hurricane, especially once it gets out over the Gulf of Mexico. So taking a look at our track forecast uh, for Marco, once it uh, gets up into the northern Gulf, I think the track is pretty close to being set. I think we're looking at landfall along the Mississippi Delta or just west and it tracking just south of New Orleans and bending back towards the northwest and west-northwest. I think the official forecast track is pretty close to being spot on here, and it will weaken rapidly as it moves inland. And as this area of high pressure that we've been talking about builds in over the southeastern United States. Now, Laura, I would not be surprised to see the official forecast track and the models continue to shift a little bit to the west, as the interaction between Marco is finally determined on how it's going to impact this ridge, that is the big fly in the ointment here, is how strong does Marco get? Does it weaken? Does it impact the building of the ridge? And, and there's a, a lot of things in play right now. And I think um, the landfall for Laura is is. Uh, as close as we can get right now is somewhere between Galveston Bay and Lake Charles, Louisiana. I think that's uh, that's the best bet right now. Uh, could it go further west? Yeah, it could go further further west. Could it go further east? Yes, it could go further east. But as we're looking at these track uh, models here, everything seems to be zeroing in on the Texas Louisiana state line. Uh, maybe. 50 miles, 100 miles west, 50, 100 miles east. And I do believe we're talking about a major hurricane here. By the time it's all said and done, the upper level winds look like they're going to be pretty good uh, for development. The water temperatures are really warm in the Gulf right now. I don't see anything that will inhibit this system from developing. Uh, recurving systems around the southwest edges of highs have a tendency to recurve. I'm sorry, have a tendency to uh, strengthen, and the upper levels look like they're conducive for strengthening. The water temperatures are conducive. It looks like a very moist environment. I don't see anything that would prohibit this from strengthening. 
So uh, be prepared for a major hurricane landfall somewhere along the upper Texas coast or southwest Louisiana coastline. Uh, fortunately, it looks like uh, New Orleans won't get a double whammy. Uh, things could change, but right now it looks like they're going to dodge that bullet, and that bullet's going to go a little bit further west of them. But they're still going to be impacted by this system as they're going to be on the dirty side. They're probably still going to get tropical storm force winds. Uh, in gusts with the feeder bands. So impacts from Marco real quick, we're looking at uh, storm surges along the delta from four to six feet, uh, Lake Maripal two to four feet, Lake Pontchartrain two to four feet, and then along the southwest coast two to four feet, and points east two to four feet. Now, as we get into storm surge uh, discussions concerning Laura, these are gonna be much higher and we will talk about that in the next couple of days. And know that I will certainly be updating these things as we move forward into time and as things change. Until next time, may God richly bless you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this edition of Agape Livecast. And whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, I ask that you do me a favor. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already done so, please like the Agape Livecast Facebook page. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, may God richly bless you and keep you.